Hello guys and welcome to Star Point Gemini 2. Yeah, this game is awesome. This is uh, kind of like EVE Online, but uh, it's single player and a little less uh, complicated. Uh, because I've been tinkering around with uh, with vehicle designing uh, kind of games lately, uh, like from the depths and <laughs> such games like that. And I've decided that I still have another itch I want to scratch, and it is another space fighting vehicle building, uh, arranging, strategizing game such as this one. So, I'm going to play this game on extreme difficulty, <laughs> because that's the only way to play games. And uh, yeah, let's begin. Uh, I'm going to do the free roam campaign. And I'm going to be a gunner because I like to smash it up. I like to see explosions everywhere and all around. That's the way we're going to do it in this game. Um, so yeah, so this is still in beta. Uh, but that's okay though, because there's a ton of features in here. Uh, you could do everything from like pirating to like, uh, I don't know, like, like you could be an enforcer, kind of like a, an interstate uh, or interstellar patrolman, uh, it's like trooper kind of guy. You could do uh, like missions, you can do whatever the heck you want in this game. Uh, it's all open. You could be a trader, miner, you know, asteroid miner, whatever the heck you want to do. So, without further ado, loading screen, get done. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and skip the intro there. Uh, but pretty much it's like, uh, yeah, war. War is everywhere. Okay. So, let's see here. So this is our ship. Don't show me any tips. Alright, so right off the bat, I like to start with a tactical overlay. Uh, and in this game, you will get used to the uh, to how the controls work. Uh, it takes a little getting used to, but then uh, with with a short amount of time, it becomes second nature. Uh, you can go ahead and do rolls. You can do uh, yeah, just just uh, kind of moving around like this. And this is kind of like the first part of space that you uh, that you appear in. It's just this like little. Let me cut the power here. Cut the power. It's the first little part of space here, like the noob zone which actually happens to have a really good array of weapons, but this is how big the map is though. It's just like all fog of war right now. And uh, a good thing to do is to go ahead and explore this entire uh, universe. I think there's about 12 planets altogether. We start at one of the 12. And uh, and pretty much, you wanna go ahead and explore all the uh, the world as much as you can. See, so you actually have the location names on your, uh, on your actual map in the game. Uh, revealed because then when you see like news stories and new cast newscasts and like infamous pirates being here being there you'll know where to go on the map uh, you know r according to the news reports you'll be like oh okay like I know where that is I know where like whatever the delve is I'll go you know, warp over there and see if I can find that pirate and, uh, and claim his bounty you know so that's how uh, that's, that's pretty good but starting out though starting out we want to just do um, Enemy Probably just some range. basic missions. Oh, here's an enemy. All right. Let's see if we can uh, go ahead and give him some hurts. Looks like he's going to be dead before we even get there. Let's go yes, ahead and add some power to power. engines here. All right. So there's uh, there's different ways you can... Uh, well, let's see if we can get to him. All right. Oh, no. They got him. They got him before we got there. It's all good, though. It's all good. This is a very secure spot. Uh, pl place in space. It's very secure. So, let's go ahead and dock in the station. And first thing you want to do with your ship is, uh, let's see here, you have a loadout, right? All these weapons are pretty good, but um, I don't know, I don't like them, they're pretty crappy in my uh, opinion. So what you want to do is just pick uh, a weapon that you like, and then go ahead and upgrade it as much as you can, like enhance it with enhancements. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these uh, beam weapons, I'm not a fan of beam weapons, like lasers and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I like the shredder right here. This is I love rail guns. Anything with bullets and shooting and stuff like that, I, I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here in our four slot. And and when you see numbers like this, like four out of four, two out of two, uh, it doesn't mean that you have to buy more guns to put in those slots. It just means this one purchase of this gun that you have will have four firing points and it'll shoot twice as much as a two 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 slot. So you want to put your best weapons here for this ship, for example. And every ship has different loadouts, different, you know, shield values, all that fun stuff, and different resistances. You can add resistances to your shields, you can armor tank, you can do all types of crazy stuff in this game. Very similar to EVE Online. Uh, it's very fun. So, okay, so I went ahead and loaded this gun in here. It's a good gun. Uh, we really don't need stuff over here yet. And enhancements, I'll get to that later. Systems. Alright, I'm gonna sell the stuff that we just uh, <laughs> took off our ship. Don't worry, I'm, uh, it's, it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be just fine. This is where you can customize your ship. We'll get to that later. Uh, so yeah, systems. This is where you want to buy more weapons if you feel like it. But 
We don't really need more weapons starting out. We're going to be pretty beefy, pretty tough as it is. Uh, one thing I guess we do want to upgrade is we can go ahead, since we have a, a good amount of cash, it's nice to have a level 1 upgrade on everything now that we have cash after selling that, uh, that silly stuff. So this, this upgrade right here will increase light weapon damage. So let's mount that. So now this guy, if you see his average damage, it's like, boop, it's uh, beefed up, which is nice. So let's go ahead and uh, a transporter is uh, on every ship that you have, well most ships will have a uh, uh, troopers that you can actually use to board other uh, damaged or, or ships that you're attacking. So uh, so it's good, so the, the better transporter you have, the faster you can get your troopers on there so they won't die piecemeal. So transporters are very nice to upgrade, you can upgrade their, uh, their transport range. Uh, yeah, or, or just like transport um, volume or capacity as they call it here, which is 9 right now. So let's go ahead and upgrade that as well with the Locust. Uh, let's do it. Uh, this is pretty good. 30%. Let's do it. Let's mount that. So now we can, ooh, we can get 11 guys at a time uh, through the uh, troop transporter when we're boarding other ships to try to take them over. So we could take over other ships in the game after damaging them. Get some troopers fighting their troopers, beat them up, and then we can tow their ships back to uh, stations like this and sell the ships or decide to pilot the ship after we repair it. It's very cool. Very cool stuff. Uh, let's see, for our engines, let's go ahead and speed them up with something, uh, let's see, maneuverability, no. And later on you get like way better uh, upgrades and advancements where it upgrades like several different stats. And there's hacking in this game too. Oh, it's, it's crazy stuff. It's really good. But let's go ahead for something simple with just like maybe some speed. I don't want to get too crazy because we're just starting out. Well, it looks like the simplest thing we have here is just the dynamo one. So speed and maneuverability. I'm cool with that. 10% on each. Beef that up. So now we're at 26 instead of, what was it? Yeah, 24. So that'll make, that'll make a little difference. Power core. Let's go ahead and upgrade that with, uh, oh, let's see here. Regen, huh? Yeah, faster power regeneration. Sure. I think we got money for that. <laughs> so let's throw that on too. Shield generator. Very important. Uh, and so is our sensors too, so we can detect uh, more enemies that may be around us and find other like things like uh, wormholes. Uh, geez, who knows what else that's, that's out there. Asteroid fields and just all types of tasty things. Uh, we want to upgrade sensors as well. Let's do that before we get to shields. Because I think they may be a little more important than shields. Uh, at least starting out. So sensor radius, 20%. Let's do that. 20% increase in sensor radius. So now we detect things 26 hundred away instead of what was it, uh, 24 so that's good it's good stuff I'm flying through this stuff but uh but it's good it's, this is stuff you guys need to know when you're starting out so you don't just derp around um, shield recharge rate yeah let's do that just enough money for this guy boom <laughs> all right so we're all souped up a little bit in, in, uh, in every way uh, because we sold the guns that we really didn't need this is the most important gun you have on the front here so that's good Went ahead, did that, load out, very simple, repaired, no uh, ammo to rearm, heavy weapons. We'll get the heavy weapons later. All we have in that right now is just one light weapon, which is cool. That's more than enough to uh, smash some faces in. So we got our troopers, we got our weapons, there's news articles, but we're not gonna, we, we're not gonna follow any news right now, because we're just like, we're just gonna try to survive. And there's shipyards too, where you can buy other ships for millions and zillions of dollars, but... That's for later. We can uh, we can do all that kind of stuff later. Ships that have other slots and all types of weapon facings. It's it's crazy stuff. It gets it gets pretty nuts. Different cl classes of ships. But yeah, so here we are. We are just hanging out in space, getting ready to maybe do a mission, huh? Maybe we should do a mission. So let's go ahead and take a look at the map. Okay, so there's a mission right here. What's this? Destroy all marked ships. Perfect. Perfect. Assassination. I like it. <laughs> as, a, as the kind of missions I like to do, I like to do assassination, yeah. So, let me go ahead and, uh, actually, let me go and accept this quest. So, I'll be like, accept it. And then I'm going to give, my, give myself maximum power to engines. engines. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and fly around to this spot here. There we go. Target it. Okay, so it's almost, yeah, we're very close. Very close to this stuff. It's good. So, and if you, uh... If you didn't see there, I actually dedicated a lot of my, um, let me see here, a lot of my power. Tactical reports of hostiles in the area. I'll show you guys later, after we're done this fight. Okay. So, 
tactical, uh, let's see, who's, who's this? Oh, it's a trivial little tiny guy. Oh, maybe I could even capture him. Well, we could do that later for a ship that's actually worthwhile. Because it is a little bit of a drag to, uh, to go ahead and pull someone back. Alright, so let's, let's have a little fun with this guy. So he's shooting at us, we're like, oh no! See how our shields are, uh, are just like kind of hanging in there? See, so our shields are, alright, so 97, 16, oh, 89, he's doing some damage. Alright, so let's go ahead and blow him out of the sky. Yeah, let's, uh... <laughs> yeah, he's destroyed. Oh, I love explosions. Get to collect this tasty loot, there you go. So you got like a loot, you got like a cargo screen, so... Uh, he dropped some eggs. And some argon, ooh. Yeah. Perfect for industrial offices, or uh, processes, it's nice. <laughs> oh, you can have officers on your ship as well in this game, it's crazy. But it's not too crazy. Uh, right, so they said some other hostiles are here, let's see. Oh, I see the, uh, on the radar there. Looks like we got another hostile. Now what I'm doing, let me uh, try to tell you guys quick before I get into another fight here. You can distribute your power to uh, weapons, uh, speed, you know, engines, shields. So before a fight starts, at least this easy of a fight, I'll distribute everything to weapons. Um, and I have a little hotkey over here that does that, that you guys might not see. So I could be like, oh, power to, to engines, weapons, shields. So right now I'm going to keep it on weapons. So the recharge uh, goes up like crazy. All right, let's go ahead and start shooting at this guy. <laughs> Fire at will. Now, I, I, I can decide to shoot myself. I can go like that. Or I can have the uh, computer shoot for me. Uh, oh, shoot, this guy's going to kill him before I even get there. Whoops. Let's go ahead and speed up a bit and see if we can catch up to this guy. <laughs> so I went ahead, put all the power to engines. And we're going to cruise right up on this guy. I'm going to cut her, cut the engines, open up the guns, and yeah, we got him. There we go. Like a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Oh, I love it. Yeah, we got him good. What do you give us? Let's see what he, uh, what he gave us here. So what, we got like mangoes, we got crystals, argon, okay, that's cool, hey, we got we had a bunch of tasty stuff. Um, one other thing here is you have some um, some little like extra shield boosters and, and uh, just, this is like your little consumables bar. Uh, I usually get rid of all this stuff and just sell it because if you want to boost your shields, all you got to do is put all your power into shields if you're kind of like in a little lull, lull of a zone. Uh, and your shields will regenerate very fast, and I think the numbers for it are like right here, see? So, right now our speed's minus 50, shield re recharge plus 100. If I set the power in the middle, there's no bonuses. If I set it to speed, speed is uh, plus 100%, everything else is minus quite a bit. Set it to weapons, weapon recharge is 100, and battery, energy, all that stuff, so... So there you go. So that, that's kind of like how it tells you what's going on here. It's very, very cool stuff. Very fun. It's a good system once everything uh, comes together. Oh, my finances are not doing very good. Okay. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's see what we're going to do now. So let's go to base maybe. Let's go back to, uh, and also if you guys get confused where you're going, you can always just head back to, to here by saying go to. New waypoint confirmed. And then the computer will automatically fly you back there if you get like a little lost. So that's good. Um, I mean, but once once you play this for like I don't know, like an hour or so, like you, you guys will figure it out. It's it's not really that intimidating, not really that hard. So we're gonna fly back to base, and then uh, and we could also dock on planets too. But there's a charge for docking on a planet. So let's go ahead and dock here. Uh, actually, let me make sure I unequip all this stuff here. Unmount. Just to sell this stuff, see if we can get anything else for our little uh, mission we just did. So, okay, so dry dock. Let's go to enhancements, what was it, equipment. Alright, this is all the stuff I just unequipped from the ship. Sell it all. So, <laughs> that wasn't very much money. And then let's go to trader. Now, if you want to be a trader in this game, there's certain things that happen in the game, like there's a war at a station somewhere, and then like a certain demand for a certain resource will uh, will go up because like pirates attacked it or something, like AI pirates. So there's all different types of world events and news things that are happening around that will actually affect the prices on materials that you're trading, which is so cool. It's very cool. Uh, but I really don't care about all that. Oh, you know what? I'm guessing this red in price here means that I could probably sell this somewhere else for more money. And that this green probably means that uh, it's a good sell here. That's very interesting. 
I wonder. I think that's what that is. Okay, well, I'm going to sell everything. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to find a good fight around here. Just to show off some, uh, some combat. And I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I redid a little paint job on our ship as well as we're leaving the station. I did a little blue background, added a little gloss, had a little kind of like an anarchy sign on there <laughs> and uh although i do want to be a bounty hunter in this game oh is someone attacking us right now hold on hold the phone cut the engines what's going on around here oh he's just on our scanners see he might not have been on our scanners if we didn't upgrade our scanners oh look at that look how far away he is well you know what we're gonna get, go ahead and get to him and we're gonna smash him up real good so here we go all right and I'm kind, of, I'm kind of just moving slowly here so you guys can see and don't get too like dizzy and confused. But uh, okay, so let's let's do a uh, let's do full speed, move towards him. Oh, he's already within range. Never mind. Okay, let's just blow him up. Yeah, see, see, he's pretty trivial. Uh, if we were close by a base, perhaps if we were like actually we are close by a base. Well, we could do that in a later episode. But we could go ahead, board him, take over a ship, bring him into uh, a base that's close by. Because if, if there's allied bases far away uh, that'd be a real pain in the butt uh, to tow them like miles and miles away and usually we'd still be uh, getting attacked by attackers also you could also fly towards the suns and stuff anything you see out there in the world you could fly to it and you'll get there and you'll get uh, irradiated and probably die <laughs> if you go into a sun but uh, okay so I'm just gonna say just keep going this way and tell the AI let's just let's yes, just go sir. let's just go Fire in the middle of nowhere warnings. And see if we can find any fun out here. Oh, it's so pretty. I really like the color of my ship. It's nice. See, and you also see little uh, system system icons around here on your on your ship display. So if uh, if shots actually end up getting through your shields and start damaging your actual hull, these are systems right here that would most likely go offline from that direction, from that angle. So like if you got hit over here, your engines and your cloaking would would get messed up. If you got hit over here, your uh, I don't know, basket of bananas and your whatever energy core would, would be offline. So that's, that's how it works. It's, it's neat. It's a really neat. Target acquired. Target acquired. Oh yeah, let's see. So we're just flying in the middle of nowhere through space. Oh, here we go. Looks like we got an enemy. I'm going to cut the power, or cut the, uh, cut the super fast power. And let's see here. Who is this? Trivial. Oh, crew five. Hey, let's try, let's try boarding him. Let's, let's try, uh, let's try doing that right off the bat okay so let's maybe take like a shot at him like a like a little tiny shot Engaging automated oh i hope he's not dead all weapons on all oh he's dead <laughs> darn down. it darn it okay let me see if i can find a bigger fight okay report heavy long range chatter nice are available okay so here we are so i found an enemy base on the map here enemy in sensor range yep okay cool so i went ahead and found an enemy base here cut the power cut the power all right all right, all right. So it looks like we are going to uh, we're going to take some innocent shots at this uh, enemy base right here, <laughs> just to kind of aggravate them. Okay, now let's uh, let's get the heck out of here. All right, so <laughs> let me get my targeting mode. There's different. There's many different camera modes you could do in this game, uh, but this is one I like. All right, so how close is this guy over here? All right, let's go ahead, and speed up to him. Yes, sir. Get Engine within. Set to get power. within range, Missy. Oh crap! We're already getting shot at. Never mind. All right, let me dedicate some. Uh, all right, here we go. Manual targeting disengaged. Come on, let's do it. Take some shots. What's going on? Okay, there we go. We've destroyed okay, cool. He's done. Target. He's done. So yeah, so eventually we'll get more guns on this ship. See, our shields are doing good though. Tactical reports of hostiles in the area. Yeah. All right. So our shields are doing pretty decent, even though with all these guys here, Captain, not so bad. And eventually, eventually. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. Destroyed an enemy target. Nice. So when your shields start getting low like this, you can start dedicating some power to shields since we don't have to. Um... All right. See, so I'm not going to shoot this guy. I'm just going to hang out here. Oh wait, he's done already. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and dedicate some power to shields. So you put it like that, and you will see how fast the shields start regenerating. Uh, yeah, see, it's a 71, 70. This, this is actually pretty fast for shields when you're starting out. And if I didn't do that, if I had everything in speed, for example, they'd pretty much not be regenerating it, like, at all. Oh, I'm going to go collect this. And you'll find, uh, you'll find, uh, through the battles, you'll find, like, derelicts. 
uh, you'll find uh, all different types of uh, like anomalies and things like that. You can find treasures at if you shoot them, open them up. Uh, and there's even there's even nanobots the that you send to derelict ships that might actually revive the ships entirely. And then you can go ahead and uh, bring them back to base, capture them, stuff like that. So it's really cool. Really cool. There's there's so many things you can do. Uh, and I'm not playing very well right now, but... <laughs> okay, here we go. Another hostile ship has been nice, so we're just decimating these guys. We are just taking them out uh, like like crazy sauce. Let's see, what Tactical we got? Reports of hostiles in the area. Now, there's also a... Uh, there's also a facing you want to do as well. So, like, let's say the gun's on, on the front of your ship. Uh, let's see here. Hostile target eliminated. Yeah, see, so so they can't quite shoot that well from the sides. Actually, they're shooting pretty good. <laughs> they're shooting pretty good. But if we had more guns on the sides of our ship, they would be shooting too in this direction as well. Uh, they'd be go ahead, going ahead and just like owning it up. But yeah, but the, the range on our guns are like are like 1100, so we're doing pretty good. Ooh, crap. Okay, let me uh let me go ahead and do some. Let me go ahead and do some more uh, fighting here. Yeah, we're getting a fight. Oh, see, so this side of our shield is going weak. So I want to go ahead and line up our stronger side of our shield with people that are uh, shooting us. And if we ever find ourselves in a situation that is too hard, like right now, go ahead and dedicate all engines to powers, or all powers to engines, and then kick in the, uh, kick in the turbo drive. And then booyah. And then see you later, suckers. Look, I think we're even faster than our missiles. Yeah, see, there you go. We're flying away. See you later, suckers. Yeah. So we got some good loot. Uh, let's, let's check our cargo. What we got here? Oh, yeah. Look at all this great stuff. We got, like, cybernetic implants, some go-karts. Yeah, this is great. Laser guns, fuel tanks. Uh, wow, we got a lot of expensive stuff. What's exploding around here? What's exploding? I think they're exploding. I suggest checking the star chart, Captain. Oh. New missions are available. I'm not even this watching where I'm going. This is expected to be very hostile. Very hostile, uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, well, till next time, I will see you guys later. We will continue this quest. We will go into hostile <laughs> territories, uh, into asteroid fields. Oh, let's check out asteroid field real quick. Uh, let's go, like, go here, go here. Setting course. Yeah, 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 let's go check asteroid field. Danger, enemy region entered. <laughs> Danger, asteroid fields, enemy regions. Okay, well, no, we'll save this for next time, guys. This was just a little intro to show you how this game plays. Uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. But uh, I hope you guys join me for uh, the next episodes, because it's going to be real fun. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.